So a quick recap of market action since the start of this week. Suddenly, we have seen markets themselves largely holding consolidation on Monday for the key events that are due to release. And on Tuesday, US markets itself had really been buoyed by the earnings surprises, with names such as McDonald's and Caterpillar being key stocks pushing up the indices. The S&P 500 index and also the Nasdaq went on to lead between fresh all-time highs. But of course, into the later part of this week, we have a whole lot more, such as Facebook and Amazon.com being highlights that we should continue looking, be looking out for. And certainly, leading, um, contributing to this optimism within the markets had also been energy stocks. So at the start of this week, we have had OPEC and coal meeting in Russia. And certainly, the market wasn't expecting that strong rhetoric to come through from the coalition. And certainly, also not the fact that there could actually be further cuts that is going to be expected from August and that have actually inspired crude oil prices to tick up since the start of this week and with the overnight report shown by API showing US inventories actually de um, declining significantly that had actually led to WTI futures to trade above $48 per barrel and showing quite a bit of strong momentum over there. So for the rest of this week, what are some of the key items to look out for and certainly be trading with the market. I think first and foremost, we remain focused on the Fed FOMC meeting. So we do know that the meeting has commenced on Tuesday with decision and statement that's going to be due at 2 a.m. Singapore time on Thursday. And the market itself seems to be showing some sign of cautiousness right ahead of this meeting decision. So we have had um, dollar yen itself ticking up, reversing its decline recently to trade around 112 level. And for the market itself, that actually is really a sign of reversal. But as things stand right now, I certainly do not think that the Fed FOMC will significantly reverse their rhetoric, especially given that data itself hasn't been showing strong signs at this current moment. So look out for possible reversals over there. And of course, should we actually do get that um, further in in information with regards to the Fed's balance sheet reduction plan, that could actually be a, a slight small boost for the US dollar. And another key theme I think remains with earnings, but this time focusing a lot on the Singapore earnings. So of course, US earnings are going to inspire the local Singapore market. But into the end of this week, especially Thursday and Friday, we're going to get bank earnings from OCBC and UOB respectively. DBS will be expected at a later date next week. So from what we have seen with bank earnings, certainly we are seeing quite strong expectations according to Bloomberg's consensus. With earnings per share expected to increase on a year-on-year -year basis across all three banks and specifically I do think that a lot of focus have been shown with the OCBC bank particularly on the earnings revenues expectations wise so we have had positive data coming through from April and May with respect to bank loans an average of 6.9% year-on-year increase and that itself has actually provided quite a bit of these strong expectations in terms of the earning numbers Meanwhile, the concern over the crude oil prices has actually largely diminished. So this is something to look out for, especially on the bank earnings and, and um, in terms of technicals. We can certainly look to OCBC's figures given the fact that prices itself have actually touched a fresh all-time high recently, whereas in comparison, UOB and DBS themselves remain kept by previous records.